Hello everyone! As I was sleeping soundly in my bed, the Five Nights at Freddy's official teaser dropped on the Universal Studios YouTube page. Now, I'm no stranger to the Five Nights at Freddy's franchise. Alright. I'm sure you remember most of those. It's six years too late, I think, but better late than never. Uh, it's just like the Slender Man movie, isn't it? It just sort of came out several years after the craze had died down. Anyway, I'm hoping that the Five Nights at Freddy's film is going to have some interesting scares and some fun tongue-in-cheek violence and storyline and stuff. I hope it doesn't get bogged too bogged down and too serious with itself. But this is all conjecture. Let's have a look at the teaser itself. Let's go. Welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria, where fantasy and fun come to life. Hit it, guys. If you're watching... Okay, looks pretty accurate so far. We've got the joyful, slightly too happy children's presenter style thing with the very accurate looking Freddy there. And now it looks like it's closed down. Let's carry on. In this video, it means you've been selected as Freddy's newest security guard. Oh. I know him. Look at those. We're going to have so much fun together. I'm sure we are. Oh, we're nearly done. So, first of all, just want to break down that last little bit we saw there. We had the security cameras, which looked absolutely right for the game. They were the perfect angles, as far as I can recall, with the perfect things in them. Seeing all of those animatronics is quite cool. They're just the right side of Sinister, and uh, it looks dark and creepy. And the, the environment looks looks lovingly built, so I'm, I'm interested. Let's carry on. Oh! Jump scare reveal. Wow, well there you go. This isn't going to be a very long reaction and analysis video because there's not very much for me to react to or to analyse just based on that short teaser. No doubt there'll be more coming soon. But this looks really fun. I'm interested in the aesthetic of it. It looks like it's staying very true to the original games. It looks like it's going to be very... Uh, colourful, uh, quite scary. It looks like it's going to have good violence, I think. He was getting strapped into something there. We, well, we like to see a bit of violence in these kind of films. But I wonder what they're going to try and do with storyline, whether they're going to try and push all of the secret, you know, backstories, the bite of 86 or whatever it was. I can't remember now. You know, all those uh, conspiracy little bits and pieces that the Game Theory channel got so much out of. So it's directed by someone called Emma Tammy. I'm not familiar with their work, but so far so good by the looks of it. The screenplay is by Scott Cawthon, who wrote and developed the original games. So that's good that he's on board from the start. I know this was going back and forth since like 2015, 2016 with Warner Brothers. Maybe there was something there where he didn't have the full control and so didn't want to carry on with them. I don't know. Don't quote me on that. That's just my guess. So it stars Josh Hutchison, who I sort of recognise, but I haven't actually seen him in anything. It looks like he's been in the Hunger Games uh, films as Peter. It also stars Elizabeth Lale, which is interesting because I've just finished season one of You on Netflix. That's not you, but you. It's a good show, and she was a cool character in it. I think she's a good actor, and I'm interested to see what she'll do with this. Overall, though, as I say, what I want from this is the scares and the intimidating, sinister robots that tend to run around the place, and for there to be nice little Easter eggs. I don't care about it being that good, I just want it to be fun. That's all Five Nights at Freddy's ever was. It was never that good, it was just a lot of fun. Anyway, what do you think about this trailer? Uh, let me know in the comments. I'm really interested to know what you think. It's hard to gauge from such a short teaser like this, but no doubt we'll be releasing some more in the coming months, and uh, I'll be able to have a look at those as well. Let me know if you like these sort of analysis-y, reaction-y kind of videos as well. They're not very big or long or clever, but neither am I. So uh, let me know what you think, and we can see if we do any more or not. So all that's left to say is thank you very much for watching, and I will see you on the next video. <laughs> What's that button? Smash.